What's up guys, welcome back for another um, yeah, OCG metagame breakdown for December 5th, 2017. So it's getting close to the new OCG list, it should be um, somewhat like released slash leaked around next week in the new V-Jump if I'm not mistaken. But still, um, quote unquote old format with you new know, spirals dominating then again, and I'll come back to that in a couple of moments. Link Frames has been released, this is the second weekend of the you know Link Vrains pack being released and it's definitely shaking up the format but you know there are a couple of things that we have to take into account. A couple of th things I want to discuss here again all the links will be in the video description first of all here is like an older article a um, couple of days old on Road of the King uh, the ninth uh, metagame report and then you know a lot of deck lists featuring the new Link Vrains card definitely an upgrade uh, compared to last week so let's take a quick look at the new article at least um, again a couple of days Old on Road of the King, a lot of local tournaments again analyzed for the first weekend post Link Vrain. So again, Link Vrain has been released, and then we have this pie chart. And um, the first thing that comes to our mind, I think, is you know the heavily uh, decline in spirals, only sitting at about 30%, and a lot of other decks like Burning Abyss, Sephiroth, uh, Tricksters, um, Infernoids, etc. Invoked, yeah, you know all the delicious new decks and um, a couple of reasons why there's like a heavy well it's it's not even half compared to it was last week you know we remember like 90 ish percent as it was like last weeks slash months spirals completely dominating the entire scene and um, a couple of explanations first of all again this is like the at least for this particular analysis the first weekend post link brain so again give it time and as a road of the king mentioned in his article is that again spiral players um, weren't really um, sl yeah, expecting slash adepts to you know the new decks coming up from Link Vrains like Pendulums for example um, yeah the, the, the Electrum for Pendulums slash Metal Foes, Burning Abyss, Zephras as well not really the Zephra Link monster but again the Crystal Link monster and Electrum definitely giving Zephras in the OCG a big boost as for the builds, nothing too spectacular for Spirals themselves. Um, I'll sh I, 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 there should be like one build later here in the video that's like main decking one copy of the level 1 uh, lyrical... Uh, I, for I forgot its name, but I'll come back to that in a couple of moments. Uh, second, and that's quite um, quite nifty I think, is Zephras again. We saw that Zephras, you know, have a lot of shenanigans still in the OCG. Danglong is still legal in the OCG. Definitely a big tutor in their, you know, multiple uh, decision uh, trees uh, slash combos and with the addition of link frames both crystal needle fiber and um, heavy metal foes electrum found their way do you know the the new uh, Zephra deck definitely still very very strong a lot of two cards slash three card combinations are possible Lord of the King also has like a separate article uh, featuring you know Zephras and the dark worm I believe it's like a two slash three card combo leading to again like you know we are used to a lot of searches and establishing a big board um, uh, yeah, again it, it also involves like Electrum um, Crystal Needle Fiber as well I'll leave a link in the video description so again if you want more information uh, definitely check those out but again a lot of searches like Nine Pillars Denglong again very crucial here in this combo and TG Wonder Magician the card has been um, going up in price in the OCG as you might have seen last week and you know the biggest reasoning for that is um, the Crystal Link you know it can tag out to your opponent's turn into any synchro um, yeah, tuner link monster like Formula Synchron but the DCG Wonder Magician again possibly popping your opponent's back row well it doesn't really well yeah you know what I mean right popping during your opponent's turn popping one of their back rows giving you a draw with Formula Synchron potentially again keep upgrading into something like Baxia again sending back a couple of cards uh, from your opponent back to the deck again very strong if you can pair it up with nine pillars for example again Definitely Zephras, <laughs> definitely more options compared to us TCG players. But again, yeah, more builds, etc. will be here in the video as well. So that should be pretty much it in the OCG, at least for Road of the King. 
Again, everything will be in the video description. Another uh, mentioning here is Burning Abyss. With the new Cherubini, Burning Abyss is getting more, at least it's gaining more ground in the OCG, you know, for a very good reason, since it's pretty much at full force, right, in the OCG with Triple Seer, Triple Grav as well, only Dante is at one. They do have access to Triple Beatrice, but you know, again, Dante at one definitely hurts the deck, but it's somewhat turning into like a huge anti-meta deck, if it wasn't already, right, with a lot of hand traps, of course, Triple Skill, Drain, which is still at 3 in the OCG, as you see here. Um, and then Nightmare is also a card that's definitely gaining ground again in the OCG as well. So it's definitely something to keep an eye out for, for us TCG players also. But more Burning Abyss lists will follow very, very soon. So again, I believe the biggest explanation for this pie chart, the reason that Spirals aren't really that high represented is still the first weekend post Link Frames. Uh, people want to try out the new stuff first, you know, from Link Frames. And dropping like good old Spirals, it's still locals as well, nothing too high caliber. So that's why people tend to play more casually compared to, you know, like, um, like Nash form right um, anyway then a, a couple of other deck lists again all the links to sources etc will be in the video description oh I forgot to mention is that again uh, Grand Soil has been errated in the OCG its effect and that that uh, particularly, yeah, particularly points at its name of Grand Soil can only be activated once per turn and you know the difference between the TCG is that the TCG just flat out bans the card while the OCG you know uh, just erratas the card so again that that somewhat justifies it still being legal and somewhat solves the problem of, you know, FTKs involving Grand Soil. Um, the first tournament that I want to discuss here briefly, right, is the Indonesia Championship. It was won by, um, by Shiranui. Again, Spirit of the Flames being in main neck, you know, triggering the Shiranui's, but um, the triple Gozuki definitely caught my attention. A lot of hand traps, right? That's how today's format works. And uh, the Crystal Needle Fiber, definitely an option here in the extra deck. Same for the Heavy Metal Foes Electrum, but you know, uh, he's also main decking the Winter Cherry. So mm, that explains a lot, right? But Shiranu is taking up first place in somewhat of a prestigious tournament. It's definitely something to keep in mind. But because, yeah, you know, Spiral's still at full force. And as you see here, Spiral did take up the second place. And as you see here, a fairly standardish list. But you know that uh, lyrical, that level one here in the main deck is definitely uh, somewhat different, right? But still, good old spirals at full force. Third place, well, Tricksters featuring Grinder Golem again. Grinder Golem still at three, you know, the shenanigans with Security Dragon, etc. Yeah, you know it by now, right? But again, very strong here, so very strong representation. At least getting third place with Tricksters featuring Triple Grinder Golem. At least, yeah, Tricksters not really heavily based on their extra deck, so they can. They can somewhat sacrifice the space, the extra deck space needed for the Grinder Golem, right? Artifacts in the main deck, also a very good meta call, of course, for the most obvious reasons, by going for sight. A fourth place, and that was surprising with Fluffles. You know, fright for patchwork, not, um, yeah, nothing here for the TCG, but you know that with Master Rule 4 and going into Link Format, fright first or slash Fluffles, not really the strongest pick for Link Format, but still getting fourth place here in this particular somewhat prestigious event is definitely something to keep track of. But still, for the TCG, no sign of fright for patchwork, so. Sadly, for all your Fluffle uh, fans. Top 8, and that's Pendulums. Pendulum Magicians here. Um, both uh, Pendulum Magicians and the... What is it called? The, the Supreme King Magicians. The Supreme King Magicians definitely are gaining ground as well in the OCG due to the release of Crystal Needle Fiber and uh, Electrum as well. And I believe it was Beyond the Duel that got like a couple of two-card combos, as you see here on your screen. Like a couple of two-card combinations featuring Pendulum Magicians and, you know, the Supreme Kings like splashing your uh, whole hand on the field, getting a lot of searches, ending with some very nice boards, all thanks to like very easy two slash three card combinations featuring Pendulum Magician. So again, the link will be in the video description if you want more information. But again, Pendulums got a lot of tools from Link Reigns, like, you know, the new Link Monsters. So again, um, yeah, still spirals at full force, 
still the stronger pick, the best deck, but you know, with these new releases, other decks get new tools and can definitely combat spirals. Maybe not at a consistent level, but you know, they, again, new tools and they can uh, hold their ground against uh, spirals. A uh, top 16 build here is uh, dinosaurs again with light swords. Um, I, I definitely expected much more from the new dinosaur, you know, the, the oh, I forgot its name, the, the overtech quadzel, you know, the one that, you know, indicates like stuff from your opponent but uh, very easily special summon while off of your ultra evolution I believe the name is my, my apologies if I mispronounce it but you know what I mean uh, maybe if spirals get the X soon in the OCG we'll know it next week we might see this popping up again you know dinosaurs conductor I don't know is still super super strong uh, another interesting list here is Jack Knights. Jack Knights with two Dracos. Um, personally, I think Jack Knights is one of the best designed archetypes. Very fun to play with, you know, like, I believe it's blue that can, you know, arrange your monster zone or switch monster zones. It's a very cool archetype, so I'm definitely very excited for this particular archetype. But it's not strong enough, it's somewhat inconsistent still. Uh, but, you know, top 16 at this particular tournament is very, very decent indeed. Um, and then, uh, yeah, a lot of other lists like Sephiroth still going fairly strong at locals. Yeah, something I forgot to mention is that most of these results are from locals, right? But again, Sephiroth still going strong, featuring, you know, the Dark Worm, Supreme Kings, for example. Um, yeah, again, Pendle Magicians, as I mentioned before. And yeah, we also saw plans, and that's something I briefly mentioned last week, but you know, Mathematician is like a one-card FTK featuring the, uh, what is it called, Amaryllis? You know, the, the, the plant one that, you know, gives burn damage, etc. You know what I mean, right? But again, something to keep an eye out for here for the OCG especially. But hand traps, definitely quite crucial in this particular matchup. We also saw Burning Abyss again, as I mentioned before. Burning Abyss gaining ground in the OCG with the new BA Link monster. But um, we saw like a Necros hybrid that, that got first place at the, at the 37 person local. Um, yeah, okay, quite interesting. But again, yeah, Burning Abyss still at pretty much full force bar the one of Dante. Um, yeah, Metal Foes featuring the Grinder, but nothing too spectacular about that. Um, yeah, a couple of things is, first of all, Cosmos. You know that Dark Destroyer is still at 3 in the OCG, while at 1 in the TCG, and it's not really doing anything over there, right? So, again, could Dark Destroyer come back to 3? It's up to you uh, to decide, right? Um, other list, yeah, you saw Heroes popping up um yeah okay not nothing too spectacular uh should all dinosaurs something yeah that i'm definitely keeping an eye out for uh really really soon post the ban list that is uh cleaforts aren't really doing anything but again it's like a heavy heavy anti-meta deck triple skill drain triple rivalry of the warlords with the new cleafort link monster and as well um last and that's something that's like a big difference from the tcg and ocg is that grass decks are like doing nothing in the OCG, at least people don't really like to play them, maybe, but you know, here at YCS Prague a couple of weeks ago, even though, yeah, TCG players, a couple of Light Sworn decklists still topped with only one Grass, and, you know, Grass is the 3 in the OCG, and it's not really doing anything over there, so that's, that's like, mind-blowing for me, at least. Okay, they still have 3 Ash Blossom, but the same for the TCG, right? Um, but again, I will leave all the links in the video description, and I think I pretty much covered everything again. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and feel free to leave a card or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.